Welcome back to Let's Play a Succession Game of Sword of the Stars. I'm Hunter Black Luna. And we're still in command of Fane Kana. Let's get back to it, everybody. System update. Since we basically ha handled the uh, minor setup and housekeeping crap last time, I'm hoping we can get to a lot of gameplay this time. Alright, as soon as we get hyperlink communication, that'll just be useful as hell. Uh, a couple notes here. Velan Vu, we don't really need the first edition. It's much cheaper and inferior. Nope. Sanuvel, you have an upgrade too. That makes you a little cheaper. But your UV lasers are still nice. Vanuvar. There we go, now our fleet is actually trim, lean and mean, unlike the AI design screen, but hey. Now, let us attend to what needs to be attended to. There's one hell of a phrase. Where were we? As you wish, Varcona. Yeah, I think, yep, 23 ships, 6 turns away, our reinforcements will be mustered there in five turns, because we already have uh, fleets en route, I believe. Yep. Seven armors, a command vessel, seven more armors. Not to mention that the Loyal Sons are taking this large enemy fleet with appropriate seriousness, so things should be good. The other enemy probe, I'm not worried about four ships. Eh. We already have more than them, and I'm sure the Loyal Sons won't be skimping on defense for this place either. Even though it isn't actually even their colony. Uh, up here might be annoying if they continue to allow these scouts to live. I might just have to vector some love over there. Right, Clarve. These things won't be very useful for spreading the appropriate amount of love, though. It is nice to have PD ships. How long until we can get to Zectus? Departing now, Varcona. All right, we can get there in time for the fight. What's the range on that? You guys can actually make it without tanker support, so I'm gonna hold the tanker here. Yeah, you guys can still just make the jump, refuel with the colony, come right back. The tanker will remain here, just in case I need it for any urgent things like people running out of fuel. Alright, good stuff. Oh, and Korvoth has completed its terraforming. So it's basically more or less another core world now. Population has to develop, but that shouldn't take too terribly long, we're hoping. Uh, yeah, just focus on infrastructure pretty exclusively. Maybe a little bit into trade. There we go. Colony development is already going down, if uh, relatively slowly. Well, are they gonna actually kill him? You know, the odds of our allies actually killing the scouts probably increase if we actually observe the combat. Because this one is very interesting. It's just recon and shamey. I'll almost guarantee that's an enemy Lear world. System update. Yeah, I chose to observe, didn't I? Whatever. Yeah, it looks like Lirdoma was allowed to keep his scout over there. Because God knows why. You want Moshu. And actually, here's another trick I learned. I'm always learning tricks for this game, and I hope to pass them on to you guys, at least some of them. Double click on the message in this screen and it'll actually take you to the good place. Moshu. That's not a bad planet for you guys. So I have no problems with you making a grab for it. Hmm. Down here. Hang on. Are they faster than us? No, they can't be. Everyone's still 
They are on fusion. That is, uh, actually kind of surprising. What the hell? I'm sure I saw Hyver Cruisers as well. Maybe I'm just going insane. In any case, Kuagra, more ships have arrived. This is basically our main body. It is a nice body. And a whole bunch more is coming. Hmm. That makes me want to be a smartass and go intercept that. We could do it. We have the speed and the fuel. We will move at full speed. Not with our colonizers, though. <laughs> oh. That'd be bad. Your word is law, for Kona. Oh yeah, we have plenty of speed to intercept that. The question is, do we want to? We could go secure this place to allow the Hivers to set up further gates. These worlds aren't particularly appealing to uh, us, but... It'd be nice to have them. Like, look. Lon there, Doma... Alright, this is close to one of their worlds, so I don't know if we want to try to hold this. But it would be cool if we could pull it off, so... Let's keep assembling our forces, and once we've got like 30 or 40 destroyers, I'll feel happy... ...sending enough over there to get the job done. We're almost at 30, so... ...figure... Our path is clear. Engaging warp engines. Fifteen more Vanuvars for this task force. A couple more disruptor ships. I know I could abuse those if given the opportunity. Obsidian blades, noble blades, and of course a good healthy heapin. Three tankers should be good. Yes, Vakona. We'll have the ships out in no time. It'll be worth it, I promise. Right, Claire Bay, where did I send you guys? Cartographer, chart the path. Just over there, that's fine. Ah, uh, more armors, please. We will build as you command, Valkona. Come on, research, come on, research. I could ask the Lear for help, but I kind of want my allies researching at full speed as well. Why did I dispatch this task force? You know what, it's not worth it. Departing now, Varkona. Them getting a gate there would be pretty tragic, but we already have defenses there, so we are not going to allow that to happen. Because if we do, it'll be bad business. I'm really uncertain about the outcome of this game, guys. Like, really uncertain. So I just want to make sure that that's perfectly clear. Alright. Looks like we're good. Okay, Sothrum. They have a gate there. Alright, let's try observing this again. Okay, Salto. Man, if they let them get a gate there, though, that'd be it. Amazing. That's the planet I want. It's possible we'll be able to go and take that away from them, but them having fusion makes me really nervous. They might make an early push to dreadnoughts like uh, Mac Daddy did in the last game. I wouldn't like that very much. There, now we can observe. Yeah, it was just how I was using the screen. Whatever. There, now will you guys eradicate them? Here's our buds, the loyal sons, using... Oh, well, there are some clan shields here. That's interesting, and kind of gratifying. Sensors won't work, so we're going full manual. Enemy scout is dead, 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 dead. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, he's brave. And stupid and brave. 
There we go. Thank you. Yeah, the AI reacts much differently in auto combat than it does regular combat, which is... System update. The mystery has been solved, Falcona. Right on schedule. And our friends are looking to expand. So just good news all around, everybody. Good news, everyone. Oh. Well, that just made our ships about half again more useful. All right. <laughs> That climb to fission is only getting wider. What could we do about that? Hmm. That is the question, isn't it? FTL economics. I could actually use it properly this game now that I've got some help learning how to do it. Look, our research rate is pathetic now. Just absolutely ridiculous. Atmospheric adaptation would be helpful, but... God, we can't get anything in a timely manner. I think we're going to have to go for FTL economics. We have been given the necessary sum, Varcona. Is our colony maintenance going up? How is that possible? It's only supposed to go down. Oh, man. Only spending 60000 a turn on research. Alright, we are going to have to mooch a little from our friends. Since we're the weakest member, I guess that's okay. I need some research help. Alright. Both of our friends have agreed to send research scientists to help us. So the next turn, we will get a good research boost. Good business. Co-pro. Two armors. For Kua Prowl. On the Prowl. Our path is clear. Engaging warp engines. Yeah. Okay, Lolum. Lolum. Troller Loller. What do we build here? Just LGPs? That's cool. I wasn't expecting like a super fleet. Although we have done a good amount to expand our navy, everybody. 120 destroyers in service? That's almost respectable. Especially given the horrible state of our economy. It's just abysmal as hell. Yeah, I think economics is warranted under this situation before even cruiser tech. And cruiser tech's damn important. I guess we'll be stuck at destroyers for a while more. Let's watch this just to make sure they wipe it System out. System update. Yes, not. We have enemy ships within scanner range. Someone has shared their wisdom, Varkona. So a lot happened. Scientists from Loyal Sons and Silent Scream have assisted our research this turn. So just yeah, just a little boost. That's nice. It won't make a major dent in their research, but it should help us a little. Alright, we've got them on our scopes again. That's not really a problem. We knew this day would come. They're so slow, it's lovely. All our reinforcements will be there on time. In fact, they'll be on time to actually organize into a good order of battle. This one, too, just... Mow them down when they come in, guys. No problem. A scout has arrived. I'd surely love to send you. Departing now. Check out Kua die for me, why don't you? If there's a grand menace in that system, well, we will shortly find out, won't we? You guys. We embark as ordered. I'm thinking... Yeah. When everybody here has assembled into a fleet, then will be our time to move the hell out. 
I don't care if they've got fusion. Shit, even cruisers. They'll all die just the friggin' same. Can we make the jump? Not to Ko Koobo. That'd be kind of funny. Where's the one I was eyeing? Okay, Kusolto. That's the one. We can make the jump, it's only 12 light years. Hell, that's almost enough for our ships to make just hoofing it without a tanker. The thing about tankers, though, is they're slightly less beneficial to humans for extending their range because um, one of the aspects of node travel that I didn't really touch on is you have to, you can't stop in node space. You can only stop at the nodes. So, and you can't refuel in node space, so your whole fleet has to be able to make at least one single jump. Now, of course, since ships have a range of like 12 light years, you know, any single jump isn't going to be that long. But that's why I couldn't get across those really huge node lines, even with ample tanker support. Thought I'd mention that, even though I'm not playing as the humans. I have no intention of doing so. Thanks for the help, guys. I know she. Just kill that, please. You guys need to kill that as well. You gonna do System it? System wow, update. Lost patience. A few ships approaching Varkona. A few ships meaning one in two turns. No problem here. Hell, we could be a smart ass and order them to intercept. I don't even care. Our path is clear. Engaging Insane warp plane. engines. You gonna build... Alright, yeah, as soon as these ships arrive here, then we'll attack. What a slow attack. What a ponderous policy. They only have five worlds. That just... Three of them have developed their... stuff. And I do like stuff. Almost as much as the Nostalgia Critic. Three of these guys are tankers. <laughs> if this colony gets attacked, they might be in trouble. I don't know, guys. You fellows. Nah, there's no way you have the range. The Armada moves Just move as one. there and get ready. Maybe we could be there. Cartographer. Even Chart if nothing the else is there, just to ward the enemy off. You know. And we'll As you wish, Varkona. No clue how many of our ships will be crippled or will need more fuel. Who knows? Alright, industrial orders. Yep. Shipyards at your disposal. There we Varkona. go. Now we're moving. Big battle is just making me wait, making me wait. Yep, there's cruisers. Friggin' knew it. System update. The mystery has been solved. The Holy goal. crap. Either our friends really, really, really helped, or we got damn lucky. I'm going with damn lucky. Three turns? Good golly, Miss Molly. We never get that kind of... Okay, in fairness, our colonial maintenance is actually going down very slowly. But still, I am I am genuinely impressed. We will need to fill out the fleet with freighters, definitely. Alright. We're just gonna get to cruiser construction, like, yesterday. We have been given the necessary sum. And we Barcona. need to design us up a freighter. Freighter. Yay. I knew it. These are what their freighters look like. They look like missiles or tankers or something. Whatever. You are the freighter? Yes, Vakona. 
ship design ready A for construction. Name. Hmm. You know, actually, I'll give these guys point defense weapons. Just in case the enemy hits them with missiles or. God, I don't, this thing won't be good anyway, so it doesn't matter. I would like some freighters, please. And you can actually see what your projected treasury would be in the shipbuilding screen. Yes, Bakona. We'll have the ships out in no I'm time. I'm glad you hear. You heard him. We must increase Damn the fleet. Right. Increasing this fleet all up in the hizzle. We will build as you as command, the French say. corner. Alright, our command ships are ready. Departing now, Varkona. Oh, so they just, did they just decide they didn't want a piece of this? Uh oh. Ah, it's only scouts. Oh no. Whatever the enemy's name is. Ravenous Cycle, they are. They're still coming. Good. Manage fleets. Noble Blade. I have no clue where you guys will end up, but it probably won't be the same direction the enemy is arriving from. And yes, the game does uh, keep track of stuff like that. In that case... Yeah, that'll do. We'll put the PDs up front. And everything else can just warp in as reinforcements whenever it feels like. Good plan. <laughs> just let the soldiers do whatever. That will never backfire. Okay, Thalt. There's a tanker here, but it's not really necessary. What are you guys even doing? Tojicic, 28. Yeah, you need a tanker for this. We'll explore some random... We some embark random place ordered. on the other side of the universe. Have fun with that. Korvath, you've completed your infrastructure. So this is as good as it gets. We've secured trading sectors. We're gonna build freighters and nothing but. And that's good. We will move right, at so full everything speed. Everything that will assemble at this system is what. we will hit the enemy with should be a thunderous strike and something to watch maybe not in this part though I don't know here we go There's set to be a rumble in this system oh man ah this one's not so interesting we'll sim this and get right to the meat and potatoes. And by meat and potatoes, I mean horrible death. All right. The fleet will run them out of the ground, I Yep, our formation will move in. You know, some things about combat are universal. And the destroyer swarm is pretty universal. And our friends get an outnumbering bonus of destroyers. This is gonna be ugly hyper on hyper. Their ships are the slowest but the toughest. Not that you would know it from our last game where our allies kept getting their ships killed. Also, sending their leadership vessel out ahead. Not sure if I agree with that. 
I'm gonna 2x this, there's... They're going straight for the planets. What? Oh, hello. Enemy command vessel? There we go. They're going for the gate as well. Not that that'll matter. They can probably build another gate from here. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. See, now we're in the fight. Our armor destroyers actually do have a lot to say about this engagement. It's quite nice. Next wave. Look at all those destroyers, everybody. Makes my heart swell with joy. All ships close to minimum range. Yep. Yeah. It's the hyper music reminds me most strongly of the Lear, but also the Hivers because it's good and gets you in the mood for a fight. But at the same time, all ships close to minimum range. Eh, I just love the humans bombast more, and I'll probably stick to that opinion. Although the Lear one is quite good as well. Can't wait to get to them in the succession game. I've actually gotten requests for Tarkas, for Hivers, for Lear. I've gotten requests for pretty much everything, except the Zul. Fuck the Zul. So I figured this succession game would be an elegant answer to these requests. Maybe you'll all hate it, who knows? Whatever. Let's playing is half about you and half about the audience. Or maybe more, I don't know. It's nice to have so much point defense. Oh, holy crap. Oh, they're mines! Then it's really nice to have some point defense on all of our ships. Otherwise, I can see that being ugly business. Yeah, see the trail? String of pearls. Yep. Are we gonna get you? Oh god, that's the gate. I forgot about the gate. Kill the gate, kill the gate, kill the gate, kill the gate, kill the gate. Yes. System. Excellent update. work. Absolute friggin' excellence. What's our fleet total? 43. Oh yeah, this is gonna be one hell of a punch when we hit him. Sanuvel, ah, it's a scout. We'll keep you guys here. It's good to have some reserve ships. <laughs> the scouting mission is retarded. Whatever. We have won the battle at Zectus. Very minor friendly casualties, nothing to write home about. Let's see, the Hivers lost three ships, we lost nothing, they lost every single vessel. Part of that was just the fact that we got to gangbang them, pretty much double the destroyers in that fight. But here's the other half, guys. UV frickin' lasers. I'm pretty sure our vessels were the only ones who had it in that fight. If so, that's spectacular. Yeah, look. In terms of damage inflicted... We didn't quite keep pace with the Guardians, I suspect. Yeah, the Loyal Sons might have UV lasers too. I'm pretty sure the enemy didn't, which is where... The death came in. These guys lost command sections, but whatever. Anything that wasn't outright killed can be uh, repaired by them. Although they can't repair our vessels. Not that we appear to need it that badly. Everyone did good. Hmm. And with that in mind... This is a nice fleet. I'm going to keep it around here. Uh, <coughs> yeah, I think I'm going to keep it around here. What's the ETA on you guys? Three turns, four turns. We'll probably go without these two guys. Our path is clear. Engaging warp engines. I'm going to tell them to go to Koa Grong and station themselves there, but they're not going to go along with the main attack. 
I hope I remember that. And Koagrun, like literally nothing happened. Our ships didn't even get over there to kill him. Freighters. Oh yes. And the home world is going to start filling those trade routes. Those lovely trade routes. Look at the trade income you can manage, guys. Yeah. I thought it just defaulted to whatever was the smartest, but not necessarily. You can just annihilate the monetary problems if you do that. Like, look at the pie graph. Look at that. That is spectacular. I think we're just going to fill it out a little. And we can still have these freighters out roughly on time. That's cool. Corvoth. Now these places with less industrial capacity, especially now that we've almost hit the point of our ship construction threshold until we earn more money, these are the places I'm interested in. You guys are building freighters? You can afford to start trading eventually. I know, build a couple freighters then turn to trade. Anyway, FTL Economics is gonna help us get on our feet, guys, don't worry. Okay, Thalt, tanker here. Uh, just go where everyone's going. The Armada moves as one. Good work following the herd, everybody. Five ships. Is this gonna be okay? Also, I noticed these ships have stopped. Cartographer, chart the path. Yeah, sometimes I accidentally tell ships to go to other fleets instead of to damn planets. Which is, uh, by the way, poor play. In terms of if you want to optimize stuff. There we go, the Hivers didn't let that one slip, that's good. Our enemy didn't really send much here. I mean, they are cruisers, that's pretty much the equivalent System of a clump of destroyers. They want an Oshi. Go a freaking head. Ada Fleet 4 can no longer track its target. Huh. You'd think they'd tell me that on the turn they decide to stop moving. And not waste a turn of not moving. Departing now, Varkona. Oh, we don't need to go to K Just go there. No, go to Koop. Ah, don't have the range. Zotrak? Any of our worlds? We embark as That's ordered. Fine. That's fine. More freighters. Additional freighters, additional pylons. Let's fill more of these trade routes, everybody. See, we can optimize trade income by doing this. So we won't... Because any more than this won't actually get us more income to a degree so we can still produce some for ship construction enough to get freighters you heard him we must increase the We're fleet mostly pumping our money into research oh, the trading slider moved down now guys i really want you to This money management stuff is tough. I want to get that frickin' research done. Yeah, we'll have the homeworld do this. You guys out there can devote everything to making money. Don't overharvest. You can overharvest enough to significantly ruin things. Or you could overharvest like one a turn. Alright, look now. If we set our sliders there. We can make 
make a lot of income. Two turns off our research. I mean, it's a simple tech, but it should show you some powerful results. Okay, Lolum, Corva, Gopral, do you have any freighters? Doesn't look like it, but. Actually. Make it half and half, there you go. System nice. update. Enemy fleet incoming, Varcona. 49 ships. The same place we happen to have a scout. Three turns. Alright, I'll admit I'm worried. We should definitely get some of our bros. 139 destroyers. Jesus Christ. They're not gonna get there in time. Well, that's a problem. I'm just gonna emphasize our defensive needs to our friends. I'll keep saying it guys, we could lose. This is not, and if we do lose, I will so put this up. Defend at... Lurai. Immediately. These two places need to be defended. As long as we all agree on that, then everything is cool. As long as the enemy doesn't send any big waves our way. Hello. It's a shithole. Whatever. We'll have an allied gate there. Either way. Where to next? Probably. The Armada moves as well. Check one. out K Solto before we attack. That was gonna be our target, right? Oh yeah, definitely K Solto. Let's check it out before our strike lands there. Um, this is the problem. I know these guys aren't supposed to participate in the attack. So I'm going to wait one more turn and then we'll go with what's here because we have noble blades and shit. We have everything ever. I figure everything ever should just about be enough. Do a job. And if we see there's like a hundred dreadnoughts there, well, that's the beauty of being able to tell your ships, hey, turn around. Which I will repeat, you can never do as the humans. Although it does help that you usually make multiple node jumps. So if you're careful, you can micro it so they only go a certain number of uh, node jumps. And then you can interrupt them when they're at a particular system, but <laughs> I never do that. And a lot of people probably don't. Uh, Cartographer, chart Yeah, go path. ahead and rock and roll. Depending on where they have ships, they might not see this coming at all. Additionally, this place is a really bad place to build a colony ship, actually. Ah, uh, balls. Throat ripper. Wait, we have colony ships. Don't we? Yes, we do. Just send them along with this fleet. Do you no longer have the range? As you yeah, wish, still have the range. That's good. Had me a little worried. Only two ships to colonize that might be risque, but it'll be fine. Another Valon Vu just to help out things. Departing now. So if things Marcona. go bad, we'll have more warning to turn around and less hanging there with no fuel and feeling stupid. It's gonna be up to the loyal sons to make some defense happen. Luckily it would appear they are up to the challenge. Hello, fusion. Hell yeah. Actually, it looks like both our allies are really kicking it up a notch. 
Of course, that suggests that the enemy will be kicking it up even further. But, you know, maybe that's just me being a Debbie Downer. I acknowledge that as a distinct possibility. In any case... Enemy scout, doesn't matter. Holy crap, a Von Neumann! What the hell? This is a surprise. Let's watch this, just for the novelty. Look, even on 1%, the encounters still happen. And frankly, I think the 1% encounter rate is is much more reasonable than the 100% rate. What can it be? Just gotta put that out there. Here's probably one of our only chances to see Von Newman's in action, everybody. Man, it's dark. It's a little dark. There we go, now it's lighter. With our friends disintegrating. Too bad UV lasers are so badass. Yeah, we lost a destroyer. Von Neumann motherships are badass, and missiles don't tend to work too well on them. Even so... Okay, yeah, they might have a problem. Man, the Hybers are not reacting well to the Von Neumanns. That's sort of embarrassing. Is that thing making a new mothership? Oh my god. I hate Von Neumanns. I hate Von Neumanns. Did we win? Good job, guys. System update. That was not bad. All right, you guys, you can manage your fleet on route, I guess. Could you do that with node spaceships too? I don't remember. In any case, some of these disruptors should be fun to use. PD ships to keep us safe. And the rest can just be Vanu Vars, that's perfectly fine. Wow, it looks like our colony ships and tankers are relatively down in the reinforcement list, like, like you know, it's reasonable to expect. Cool business, guys. I guess it's just I'm too damn good. Oh, yeah. Fellows. Your word is law, Vakona. It'd be tough to see an enemy attack coming because of our poor sensor range. I mean... We're better on sensors than some other races. Human. <laughs> Man, six resources added to the system. Actually, it looks like the Von Neumanns just got what they were coming for and then retreated. They literally raped the systems. See, now that they don't have any construction, now they can put it all towards trading. It's not an insignificant amount. Screw it. I need more freighters, you guys. Shipyards at your disposal. Probably leave us vulnerable to a huge enemy attack, but hey. Just doing my job, man. Alright, we'll ride one more turn out. Zekprin. Ezkaprin. No, it's Ezkaprin. Probably said it wrong this whole time. Please just actually kill it. But actually, let's make sure. Alright, the planet looks cool, but it's pretty unusable to us. I'm pretty sure everyone can't use it. Even, well, the Zool probably find it attractive. Fucking Zool. Even when they're not in the LP, they show up on like a nom veteran having flashbacks of their ability to instantly decide my ships are dead. Why can I see everyone's health? I guess because I'm not in the fight. What ifs? What the hell? 
believe that is a refinery vessel or a, some kind of support class cruiser. Not the sort of thing you want to just... Probably a mining ship of some kind. Not the sort of thing you just want to leave sitting around, really. All those missiles are so pretty. It's so pretty. No way this asshole is escaping. It looks like he does have point defense. That's gonna make this a pain in the half. That is a literal swarm of misses coming. It doesn't actually look like they're faster than the enemy, though. It's hard to tell. It looks like they're inching ahead because they're using pursuit mode. Is that on screen? They're on our side, right? Yeah. That's good. Eventually, they're gonna hit enough of this asshole's engines. And then he will be sure proper screwed. It's taking a while, though. You're welcome for the two exiting, by the way. Oh yeah, there we go. Mission section dead man. That looked valuable. And painful. Good. System update. Alright, aside from... Hmm. I was sure there was more in that fight. So odd. Anyway, so fire jewels are mining ships, refineries? I don't know. I haven't memorized all the ship profiles for this race, although I get the feeling I'm going to become more familiar with them. As time goes on, trade income is already looking good. The treasury is just looking a little healthier. Well, that's because of the colonial development. I wanted to get some biotech. Oh, even now I bet it's expensive as hell. Also, reflective coating is on our to-do mountain. But I think this was a pretty good session. Thank you for watching. Let's play Sword of the Stars in a succession game 3-on-3 three three mirror matchup. I'm Hunter Black Luna, and I'll see you guys next time.